this is insane. Everything is with smoke. These are not the I'm not gonna kite, but I have this beautiful bike. I have it brand new, and uh, I'm not gonna ride it yet. We will come to that. But my sister is gonna kite in Hermanus, so we're gonna show you that spot. And she has the privilege to use all my kite gear, as I cannot kite yet. So, Tim, we're gonna go. We're moving. Who's gonna drive? I'm. The drive is a bit too long for my knees. We brought the 9 Evo SLS. Seven dice. A seven dice. Let's go. Thomas driving. Holy speed. Still have 55 minutes to go, but the environment is pretty amazing. Tom, I had a question. She's been trying an Evo SLS, a Dice SLS, and a Rebel SLS. Oh fuck. What is your favorite <laughs> kite and why? Right, well, the dice is nice, but you miss some airtime. Uh, the rebel is going sky high, but the uh, bar pressure is a little bit too much for me. So in the middle, you have the Evo, and that I can uh, jump high, not that much air, air pressure, but I can, but I have a lot of airtime for that. So I like the Evo really much. She has a lot of air pressure as well with the Evo. What is air pressure to? Bar pressure. <laughs> bar pressure. With the dice, it's super nice because it's very all-round kite. You can also unhook with it, so it's good for freestyle as well and looping. A more radical loop on a dice. Then you have the Evo SLS, which is perfect for people like them that wants to just jump, enjoy, do some spins and rotations. And the Rebel is super sick as well. But yeah, you have a bit more bar pressure and she's very light. So she likes it less than the Evo. Continuing our road trip to Hermanus. Oh, something is on fire! Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Shit, this is insane. Everything is with smoke. These are not clouds. We can smell oh, it as well. And the windows are closed, but... Oh, it is hot, eh? There are several fires in front of us. There, there, and there. It hasn't been windy at all for the last couple of days and it has been super hot. And now it starts to be blowing a little bit. So, unfortunately that's part of uh, mother nature. That looks already better. We got a call that there is a kind of secret spot. So we're not gonna go to Hermanus. We found another spot for them to have a great session and for me to film. So you guys will see a lot of guiding content from everyone here. We arrived at the spot we got Mikiel, in the white skipper. With a very bearded uh, tail. Uh, I'm going to try to land a cookie board off on my 12. Now we're on the board. We all need to pee so we're gonna uh, search for the bushes. While peeing in Cape Town. Hello! Whoa. I decided for Tim that she's gonna go with the 9 Evo. As everyone is preparing their kite, I am setting up my camera for the fake shot. All right, we're gonna switch over to this beast. Woo! I don't know if you can see it. Ryan is swimming over there. We dropped. He hasn't been able to relaunch his kite yet, so he need, still needs to do some lessons for relaunching the kite <laughs> uh, against the camera. Oh. Uh, this is echt a moordwapen. I'm totally ready to get some good shots. Oh, this is disgusting.
try to go back. I've literally never seen something like this before. Oh shit. Maar is dat denk je waar je moet afzetten? Daar begint al de wind te worden. Okay, it didn't feel quite right to be kiting at the spot where literally the fire went worse and worse. So we're on our way back again. We already got redirected because we could not drive straight back because then we would go into the fire. So we're gonna see how it evolves. Hopefully the fire is not gonna get too big. And we're back in Blauberg. It looks way brighter over here. Maybe Tim is gonna kite again and I'm oh, gonna go for a swim. And the water is freezing over here. I'm walking pretty nice as well. Oh, it's so cold! <laughs> 